What's going on everybody? It's your boy Texas and we are back super late with this video. So what had happened was I planned on uploading this when they dropped Jeremy Chen on Friday. It was Friday, right, for the all-rookie promo. And you guys can see his stats, man. 99 speed, 99 acceleration with the 98, man, 96 zone. His zone should be higher than 96, but I guess they couldn't make him, like, too much like Jamal Adams or the other saves in this game that have, like, the 97 speed with that man end zone. But as far as for a user concern, this dude is amazing, and he might get a power-up sometime here soon if EA decides to get their head out they bleeps. And, you know, drop wild card Wednesday power for the next five weeks. Because that would be beneficial to everybody, not just certain programs they want to feel like highlighting. But what sucks about this was I actually, like, crushed this commentary, right? I got done recording. I'm like, I feel fucking amazing, all right? I feel good. I said what I needed to be said. I said it without stuttering, you know? I went on a rant about Teddy Bridgewater and how I think he's a little bit of a baby for complaining and crying that and unfollowing a team off the social medias because of they want to they want to trade him. And then we get to the game. The games are great, right? We in there, we competitive. We making moves. And then I get done with the recording and my voice sounds like a robot. Yeah. It sounds like a robot for an hour-long commentary, and I couldn't salvage it, man. I spent the entire weekend watching YouTube videos, trying to figure out how I can get out here and, like, fix the audio. I thought I might have fixed it because Audacity, or not Audacity, uh, what's that? Is it Adobe Edition, right? I have the Adobe Pro Bowl. It's Cam just launches that ball down the field. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't picked, but, yeah, I know Cam had that ball in him, other than the fact that he don't got out routes in him because Gunslinger is not that important, but, I mean, it's really, really, really important. But, yeah, we want Adobe Audition, they were like, you can do this and then try to, like, fix it from there. And then it was like, you should have a lot of audio mistakes if it's actually messed up. And then Adobe Audition was like, bro, you have one audio mistake the whole file. I'm like, okay, I can't fix it. It's impossible to fix. So we had to scrap that. Now we're doing a post-commentary. And I don't like doing post-commentaries that much anymore just because... It's a one take wonder thing, right? Because I'm recording this in a different program, my audio is in their program, so I have to kind of like make sure I do this what 15 minute video in one take. That's very, very tough. So we're gonna go ahead and try our best right now. But yeah, our opponent has the ball in the red zone right now. As you guys can tell, he is running that get the ball to Tyreek playmaker bunch offense. Everybody's running so much right now. I believe a Madden tournament ended with the champion just running the hell out of QB play or wide receiver playmaker. So it looks like everybody's going to use that meta. And the reason why it's so hard to stop, even though my opponent is actually not doing a good job of it, he's only forcing the ball to Tyreek, is because he's playing against a smart player. The playmaker is like kind of like the last resort. It'll look someplace else, and if that's not there, they can just kind of do a lot of maneuvering and finagling to get that guy wide open. And I really absolutely hate that it's kind of hard to stop right now because you can't play man against it because of the fact they cut back so bad. So you got to play zone, which then leaves you exposed on other aspects and fields. So it's, it's cool. I like it, but it's just also really hard to play against as we get the ball to Caffey right there. If we get a lot of the sideline, ooh, I get, I get punched in the face, man, because I tried to do the entire team out. First and 10, Cam drops back, and I thought that I had Robbie open, but your boy made a mistake. I should have lobbed it. I should have lobbed it. I said I've, I, I bullet passed it. Bullet passed it. I bullet passed it and ended up getting intercepted. So it's all good though, man. Our opponent is only throwing the ball to Tyree Hill. So it's so easy to stop that. Play action. One hit the crosser, but the crosser actually got open there, but didn't really think I can get it over the top of that defender. Throw the ball away to lead a fight of the day. Second and 10. He only sends two this time. And I hate the fact that his guard is just, or his defensive tackle is just driving back into my lineman cells. <laughs> my lineman cells right there. I'm kind of annoyed. So we got a third and 19. And there's nobody open. He sends the spot. So now I can take off a cam. Let's go, cam. Get to the sideline, baby. Let's get to the sideline. I need a better cam, bear. Power cam sometime soon, yeah, man. I need that better. I need that speed. He's still too slow right now on my theme team. Now he's back out here in his play action, and he did not hit the guy open. We got pressure on with Brian Burns. Second and 20. Play action. Again, playmaker. I'm right there. And fortunately for us, the pressure gets there. But nope. Tight and delay fade. So just when you think you got it covered, there's always another, you know, card hit up their sleeve. Another drop by Tyreek with the playmaker. So now he punted us the ball back. Second and eight. Trying to find somebody open. Circle got open very, very late. But we took a little drag. DJ Moore out here doing some spins, breaking tackles. Of course, it was going to be defensive pass interference. All good, though. Inside zone. Caffrey cuts this back, and now we are within the red zone, within striking distance. Go back to my cross. See if I can get it open right now. 
And now the purples are back deep enough for it. But luckily for us, we get out of the pocket, get a good throw on the run. Now it's first and goal. And guys, look at this catch. DJ Moore. Bro, if you could consistently replicate that throw, oh my goodness, that'd be amazing. I don't know how, I don't know, you know what I did to pass lead that. I just threw it up. I'm like, I mean, it's man coverage, right? One on one, give my man a chance. And DJ Moore went out there and did the damn thing. And our opponent did not like that too much. So, you know, I guess he's out of here. So now we're going to get into game number two. And this game, man, I'm going to let you know off bat, bro. I was getting cheated since the rip, bro. Like, it made no sense. My opponent knew I manipulate your coverages, obviously. But look right here, right? He throws a drag. And I have purples up. I don't have zone drops up. But for some reason, my mid zone turns into man coverage. And look how far my Jeremy Chin follows up the route that he's not supposed to be responsible for. He's not. He's supposed to play down there. But, uh, yeah, he gets a lot of yards because of it. And I, I really hate to drag just get a bunch of yards this year. And Chin plays that well but doesn't get the interception. He's just out of his mind right now. And so, again, th third and two. They got everything covered up. Goes away, throws the ball away with Deshaun Watson. Now we got a fourth and two right now. I'm playing some man coverage because I need to be able to get some heat on this dude. Force a bad throw. And Corn Elder is not good enough to be one-on-one -on -one versus Randy Moss. Barry Sanders gets tackled for a sh after a short game. Second and seven. Drop back in the pocket. Good defense once again. Our team's playing like crazy right now. We're doing a good job. We just got to, you know, stop this guy from moving the ball down the field. But can't do that with a one-trap play unless you're using your safety. Linebackers get pushed out of the way too easy. I put a guy in a blue over there, but it should have been a purple because the blue did not even, even play that corner route. So now he is up by seven. So you got inside stuff, edge threats out there. So we got to be careful passing the ball because you get a lot of pressure on us. Don't get blocking right there. So we got a second and long play action, trying to find somebody open. And we're going to take off with Cam, baby. Take off with... Yeah, I should have fumbled the ball right there. Definitely should have fumbled the ball right there. But, you know, I mean, quarterbacks have fumbled the ball, so maybe I should have fumbled the ball right there. But either way, sec third and seven, and I'm trying to find somebody open. Luckily for us, our running back stays right there because if he would have went back any further, it would have been a drop, and I would have got that first down. Caffrey breaks that tackle. Bouncing off to the outside. Running out of sidelines, I get smacked again, bro. Why everybody be hit sticking me so hard? Like, bro, yo, guy, guys play crazy. He user rushes, and I get sacked. And I'm outside of the tackle box here, but the game was like, nah, you were inside the tackle box. Like, bro, look at this picture. Look, look, look where my right tackle is, and look where I'm at. I'm out, I'm outside the tackle box. How is this intentional grounding? How? How? They just completely screwed me right there. So now I lose it down, and I lose yardage as well. So, so he gets the ball back, because there's nothing I can do right there, right? Nothing I can do. In the red zone, he throws a low pass. I drop the interception. Okay, following the, following the trend right now. Okay, cool. Interception drop. He gets points out of it. Now we try to find somebody open. And then Pat Pete, I don't know what he got in him, if it ain't steroids, to make him play like that. But he completely stole that ball from Steve Smith. That really, really agitated me. So now first and ten. He has the ball back, and look at pressure, overthrow, and drop. <coughs> yeah, we out of here, bro. We're not, we're not doing this, bro. This game. This is going to cheat like that, right? I dropped two picks. You going to catch one when your guy, like, out kicked his coverage like crazy? No, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that, EA. So, I mean, sometimes you guys play this game, and you know that you're not supposed to win, and that was one of the games where I was not supposed to win. I had to fight for that, and I'm about to be fight with this Panther Thief team. Regular team, I'll fight. This Panther Thief team... I ain't got fight in me, bro. Like, if I'm down, let's GG's, bro. Comeback's not going to be likely to happen. As Cam throws a hot one right there. Looking that was not intercepted. Looking my receiver dove for the pass. Play action. Thought he might be in man coverage. He was not taking a drag. But, man, once again, without the velocity on that ball, I set Steve Smith up with a hospital pass. But, luckily, he does not fumble the ball right there. Play action. I'm trying to be cover three right now. And I thought I could have X, but, nah, I didn't have the, you know, time of the pocket for it. Third and 15, he only sends three. He sends the spot late, which is a good strategy. And, of course, my team doesn't pick it up, and he gets a sack. So, first and 10, out here with his Seahawks theme team. So, that's pretty cool. And he is just running stretch with Sean Alexander, man. But it's kind of cool, man. I played on the theme team in here. And even though 
even though I would like to see a lot more theme teams like that are full, it's uh, still pretty dope that people are have good enough theme teams taking it head to head. So play action. He's trying to go back to that crosser, get pressure on him. And now we got a second and ten. Back to stretch, bro. And it's kind of hard to stop this formation. I don't know what it is about it. But even though I have the numbers over there, it seems like no matter what happens, like two dudes can block three dudes or two dudes can block four dudes. So that's his go-to right there. You got a first and ten. For some reason, everybody out of trips likes to motion over this guy, which leads me to believe it's going to be quick slants. It usually is quick slants. I ain't going to guard that, though. But my man Finnegan got my back. Yeah. But he's a little too slow. He ain't returning to this. <laughs> if Russell Wilson don't catch him, DK's definitely catching him. So now we got a second and seven with the ball back. Try to find somebody open with a mean dot right there over Cam Chancellor's head. You love to see it. First and ten. I want to hit the seams right there. Couldn't go there. So out routes the second option. And luckily for us, his corner plays that terribly. And he gets pressure on me. But Cam does what Cam does. Yes, sir. Gets out of the pocket. Runs back behind that guy. Yeah. Slide. Bro, sometimes, man, I be in my bag. I be in my bag. I can't hey, I can't replicate that, but, man, that one time it happened was pretty cool. You got a third and go at the five-yard line, and there's – I wanted to go to square, but I think right at the back of the end zone, and, of course, the pressure gets to me, and that results in me only getting three points going into the half. So now he's back out here just going to run the ball because that's hard to stop. It's hard to stop as I missed the tackle right there. Oh, man, I need to figure out what formation or playbook has this because I need to go against it a little bit more. So I can stop it. But now my man's out here manipulating my AI. As you guys see, I'm trying to get on Dante Jackson to get back to prevent him from running the crossers. But they force me on a lineman, and then he gets a dot. So the way I stop that play is I either bring my safety or cornerback back, and I use a rush with my linebacker. That way he can't cheese. But we got everything boxed up right now. But tied in delay fade. Chin with the hit stick. Should have been a fumble. Should have been a fumble. It's all good, though, man. It's all good. Now he's back out here in stretch. But luckily, he gets the auto hurdle for me. And we pick the ball up, and we get the fumble that we should have got earlier. And so now I'm kind of annoyed because this guy is ticking me off. So we shoot clock this entire rest of this game, right? Third quarter, like two minutes to go. You're not getting the ball back, big guy. You're not getting the ball back just because you want to get out here and cheat my AI. I'm going to make all these throws on third and seven, make all these hot ones. We're going to get these first downs. We're going to extend this, this drive, and you're not going to have a chance to win. So as you can see, it's a minute left in the fourth quarter, giving the ball to Barry Sanders. And that is going to be all she wrote. So, I mean, if you go, I, I won't, I'll play fair if you ain't going to be out here cheating me, man. That's all I got to say. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, post-commentary, a little bit different. Uh, did that kind of in one take? Kind of. I had to sneeze so bad, I also had to cough midway through it. But, yeah, talking for that long, I don't know how people do it, man. I don't know how Zerk, I don't know how CC, I don't know how Scomo, I don't know, I don't know how Gut Fox be doing it. It's tough. It, it tough. It really tough, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys later on today. More than likely, EA ended up dropping some new power-ups for some of the campus heroes. So, we can upgrade Jeremy Shockey. We can upgrade Keyshawn Johnson. Um, even though Keyshawn Johnson is not great on his regular 92, hopefully down the line he gets like power-up expansion packs or something like that. He becomes a 96, 97. That way, he's actually usable on a theme team. Because right now, Chris Hogan's better than him and... That is wild thought to think that Chris Hogan is better than a Hall of Famer. Makes no sense. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's been your boy Texas. Catch you guys in the next one. Look, Peace. This ain't money came by your heaviness, but I swear to God, it's a good down play. Trying to stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God.